The king of comedy. It's impossible, man. It's impossible. <laughs> That's just one of the many, many lines from this. One of the best twenty comedies ever made. Um, not that well known. Uh, I mean, Martin Scorsese, Robert De Niro have many other films that are better known. I mean, a different genre. The Charles Casino in the streets. The Irishman more recently. Uh, <clears throat> Raging Bull, many classics. Uh, this one should be added, but at least in my book it's more about a, it's a festival, a celebration of the fact that you Robert De Niro proving that uh, he can be divine as both a uh, villain, a violent character, and uh, an innocent, uh, delusional fool, uh, Rupert Popkin. Then uh, uh, he's one of those uh, fans that uh, wait outside the exit. To see the um, idols, uh, uh, say hello, uh, uh, show uh, appreciation, pay homage, uh, show their admiration, and worship those um, celebrities, artists. In this case, uh, in this case, a comedy uh, figure, a phenomenon. Jerry Langford, uh, portrayed by Jerry Lewis, who is in fact never funny for for once. I mean, he, he's funny uh, in a few ways. None of them, the one, those of us who are older, old enough to have seen, uh, you can see, no matter what the age you select from various libraries and watch Jerry Lewis movies. It's not that agitated, uh, febrile, uh, always moving uh, sort of comedy, uh, emphatic, uh, Here he is uh, off the stage. So we just, uh, well, we do see him um, uttering a couple of lines on stage where he's doing his demo, but that's not what this is about. Uh, it's about his darker side, his like off stage, when it makes sense, I mean, if your job is to something was boiling, so I had to prevent a fire. Which is, by the way, what you should say when in danger. I learned when doing some training with at and for the Atlanta Olympics. Uh, if you cry help, then there's the influence by Robert Cialdini. We'll not get too much into that. Uh, you should call, for, you should shout, scream, fire. Fire alerts people in a different way. Help from... Okay, let's uh, drop that. Um, so... Um, he is uh, maligned in so many ways. He's, uh, uh, I don't know if depressed is the word, but uh, without a smile. The opposite of amused. It's also true, let's give the man his due. Uh, what uh, our hero, anti-hero, Rupert Gantt does from one point on is, is uh, 
out of bounds. It's already illegal and uh, excessive. But that's part of the brilliance of movie, the, the complex comedy and the dialogue. And the uh, uh, the hero uh, is also an anti hero. You, 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 you like him, you uh, sympathize, you, you identify with him. About what he does because he's the average man, he's the one, who, especially in this case, that's that's so similar. <laughs> a fail uh, figure, not much, if anything, to show for a time of <laughs> laziness. Dolce Vita. Well, I am the kid of the revolution, I have a lot of link I took part in the. Some call it something else, but they also use uprising, which took Ceausescu down. So, there's that. Plus a few months, uh, ten maybe, uh, Miss Romania then to be uh, the boyfriend. Although that's more complex, that's for the part that deals with the notes on the blog, which uh, proposed a scenario to make a movie of. Wolf, of Wolf Death in 260 years' time when there will be a uh, lack of interesting scenarios and then AI will be able to do all kinds of things, tricks, including some uh, uh, So um, he, he does the, the differences, of course, that's why I was. Rupert Mark Pumpkin is a wolf, and we're not the common people. Um, he, he does have talent. He's pressing on with his comedy act. He wants uh, Jerry Lampo, Jerry Lewis to look at it, but so do so many others. The multitudes, he's pressed with his request for autographs to shake hands to get. That's the life of a celebrity, and that's. That's uh, a boring. So you, you have the money, you have the fame, you have so much, but then you also have this side which is fame. We don't need that from the Amber Hearst now. Uh, so <laughs> he's delusional. He, he takes his girlfriend, I put on the name, but that's not uh, getting to that. Now, uh, who doesn't know? To Jerry's house. He's not at mansion. His uh, butler and maid are there. <laughs> and that's comedy. Oh, I know. <coughs> Jerry knows him and his friend, of course. So, so. And he knows so much. <coughs> studying celebrities, especially this one. And he's thrown out of the house, but then he kidnaps Jerry with a request. <coughs> not for money, but he has to have his few minutes of show time. Uh, what would be something like the late night show that would be something like the close up book or something I, I watch always uh, set miles. You know, I'm a fan. But that doesn't mean I will stop outside the building and ask for autographs and words. You know. <laughs> uh, but um, still again. Uh, in my book, one of the best twenty comedies of any, and not just in mine. It will be on New York Times's uh, best one thousand movies ever made list.